So today we're going to show you how to execute seated bicep hammer curls. So when you're adjusting your bench, you're going to want to put it at 45 degrees. This one here in particular has the exact numbers on it. Some of the, some benches don't, so you're going to have to kind of guesstimate what 45 degrees is. Second, you're going to want to adjust the bottom seat to its highest point because you're going to want to create a cradle so that you don't fall off the bench and you'll get nice support in your back. What you'll notice when you first sit down on the bench with your feet on the ground is that your back is going to be arched. We want to try to avoid that as much as possible. I love raising my feet up in the air and digging my belly button into the back of the bench, keeping my core nice and strong and engaged. As you can see, it creates a really nice cradle for your back, some great support. What you'll find when you're doing your hammer curls in this seated position is really going to isolate the bicep. A couple key pointers here. You're going to want to make sure that you squeeze that bicep at the top, drive that thumb into your front delt, and drive that pinky up to the sky. So that was seated bicep hammer curls. Again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get a bench, put it at a nice 45 degrees, get that nice support, squeezing that core nice and strong. I like to keep my feet up in the air, get a nice little core workout. If you find you need a little bit of extra support when you're lifting some extra weights, feel free to put a bench underneath your feet as well. So if you wanna see more videos, like, comment, subscribe up top, hit this little button. Thanks guys.